I really appreciate this sister's platform. You know, what she's, you know, breaking down and the way she's breaking down the frequency she's doing it in. You know what I mean? Y'all go check them out. Check her out. Rhyming Tongue. Hope I'm saying it right, Aqua. Reaming Tongue. Rhyming Tongue. We just talking Grand Con. <laughs> Popping off. Hey, shout out to the Aqua. Let's hear what the Aqua got to say. I'm going to fall back. She going to pretty much lay it out for you. You know what I'm saying? And as my real wave surfers know, you know, you're going to be able to uh, surf the wave. You know what I'm saying? Uh, really connect things that we have been digging on for quite some time. And just to, you know, dig on it with this, you know, great Aqua here. And, you know, Aqua Tasha, she would it do. I mean, I'm talking about the... The, the original ones, the original ones, you know what I'm saying? The original ones, man. Let's pop off because <laughs> they say all skin folk ain't kin folk. Man, we say uh, all kin folk ain't con folk. They say all skin folk ain't kin folk. We say all kin folk ain't con folk. <laughs> con, pop off, I'll call it go. And keep the conversation going from the last video. I received lots of positive feedback and appreciation from it. And honestly, the spirits told me to keep the dialogue flowing. So many of you here, you probably saw my previous video and you couldn't believe that such a scam could occur. If you haven't checked that one out, I would check it out before this one. But yes, folks, the people who look like you aren't necessarily for you. And I'm going to try to break it down from a pre-colonial perspective. Then I'll wrap it up and show you how it affects us right now, today. First, we must dodge the misnomers and understand that the so-called African-American or the so-called Black person with ancestral roots in America is in fact the American Indian. And remember, I use the word Indian because it is the legal term. If I was speaking to another indigenous person, I would refer to my tribe and they would refer to theirs. The American Indian is the indigenous aboriginal of the Americas, the original inhabitants, the Powhatan descendants, Anianguias, Seminoles, Creeks. You might even hear some people in the indigenous community use the word Native American to describe the indigenous Americans. But when you break down the definition of a native, it completely leaves out the original inhabitants part. A Native American is a person born in America or associated with America by birth. So do you see the difference? A Native is one who is born in America or associated with America by birth. And an Indigenous Aboriginal or an Indigenous American is the original inhabitants. Anyways, <laughs> I won't... And that's pretty dope, you know. I, I, I have to the aqua, you know. I'm falling back. I'm falling. I, I'm in Nagaville, you know. First of all, you know what I'm saying. You know, Nagaville is the earth plane, so I want to. I want to make one thing clear. We don't got a problem with no piece of ama, you know what I'm saying. You know, it ain't about having an issue with no piece of the land all across Nagaville. Whether we're talking Asia, this Asia, that India here, India there, India superior. You know, whether we're talking uh, Africa, you know, all these other titles, all this is mama, man. All this is Ama. So we don't have, you know, we, we can't be against any part of Ama. We're just against the lies and the hypocrisy and the, and the mutilation and devastation of a nation, man. You know what I'm saying? That's all we're talking about is the mutilation, devastation of a nation. And the sister going to break down that all can folk ain't kind folk. You know what I mean? So, you know, let's just get clear on a few of these things. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, some would call us, you know, sort of, uh, um, I don't know, because we talk about Tanakh and talk about Exodus 20, they, they might think we religious or something, you know. You got to understand, you know, the creator, you know, this didn't happen just because of some accident. You know what I'm saying? You know, you can't say I'm indigenous, I'm, I'm first people, all this stuff. And yeah, I, I just got my ass whooped by colonizers. Nah, you didn't just get your ass whooped by colonizers. You got your ass whooped by the creator. 
And the creator got a code and the code ain't religious. They form religion out of the basis and the foundation of a heritage of people connected with the Prester that was invaded by Genghis Khan in the 1200s right here on this American soil. So you can't talk Native American if you're not going to talk about the Genghis Khan invasion of King David in 1200s right here in India Superior. If you don't want to talk India Superior, then you're not talking Swan Knights and the Bravos and the Sylvanus told Texas, the Toltec flow, the Solomon flow, already here. I'm talking about forbidden histories of America. So you got to connect these with the same Ibaru, Ibaru people that Columbus brought an interpreter to speak to. And if you collect these people with the, with the Ibaru, the so-called Indians with the Hebaru, Ibaru, then, then you bring in this, you know, more and more war with the sisters going to bring up. Now you're just talking Moab and Israel, but you can't talk more without talking Moab. And you're not going to talk Moab without talking Joshua and them, who they would call Joshua the robber, right? So we're talking about real things, real people, a real King David being invaded with a real code that we keep today. Exodus 20, God is in code. Don't put no power before your power. Don't put your breath of security, the creator's name in vain. You're a breath of security with vanity. Keep your Shabbat. You know what I'm saying? Rest. The people knew this. The land was supposed to rest every seven years. The land got a code. The water got a code. The people got a code. We keep the code. So, Ayah to the Aqua, she might talk about universe and spirits. We just talking creator, man. You know what I mean? Because all that universe and spirit flow is the reason why we got rolled up on. You know what I mean? <laughs> the creator, framer, shaper, ama, abba, mother, father. This is who we rock with. This is who we listening to. This is what the order is. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, when we put it all together with the so-called Native American community, indigenous community, when you connect that with the Ibaru flow, without the religious flow, but just the code and the culture and the connection, that's when you have the ultimate vibration, connectivity popping off. And that's what we are pushing when we talk about vibration awareness, 432, nine spiraled up. Won't get into the details behind that particular topic because it's not the point of this video. But I would like to say that we've all been programmed and lied to, all in an effort to believe that the so-called Native American is the original inhabitant of these lands, when in fact, most of their ancestral roots is from Eurasia, Europe and Asia. Now, some people do use this term because it's just, it's a term that's been tossed around and used for a very long time. So I don't want you to think that every person who used that word or refers to themselves as native is someone bad, but I'm just breaking down the definition of the two. I just like to know the true meaning behind words and use the words based on their true and initial meaning. If any of you all love the etymology dictionaries or the really old dictionaries, you, you understand where I'm coming from. So please don't take that part the wrong way. I also like to use the real meaning behind these words because to new people, it can be confusing. It can be confusing to hear somebody say I'm Native American and then somebody say I'm indigenous Aboriginal. It's like, <coughs> what's the difference? Why are they using different terminologies? But anyway, I'm going to leave some helpful links in the description box to talk about that a little bit more. So moving on, most of us, we've been lied to. And most of us American Indians, we were like. Hold up, man. We got some hijack to get up out of here, man. Get up out of here, man. Hey, look at my bright yellow shirt, man. You know, I got two. I got two for five, three for five. If you order now, throw in the black shirt. Bang. All right, let's go. By two, and we were forced to lie. Lie as we take on these misnomers like colored, Negro, mulatto, African American, and now black. Let me get that back. Let me get that back. More. So moving on. Most of us, we've been lied to. 
and most of us American Indians, we were lied to and we were forced to lie. Mm. Lie as we take on these misnomers like colored, Negro, mulatto, African American, and now black. And then forced or be by the colonizers to never speak our languages or to practice our culture. Now, this was the case for my family in Virginia, but I'm sure it happened all throughout the 13 colonies and beyond as their reach expanded. And now, from these lies that follow us from generation to generation, we suffer mentally and emotionally. We tend to look at the white man as the bad guy because most of us believe that the colonizers were all white people. Yeah, all right, all right. I mean, you know, we, we talk about this because I know you're about to get into the more and more war. So, you know, we're, going, we're about to ride that wave. That's why I had to bring up Moab and Israel. And if you don't factor in what's popping in the Tanakh, you know what I'm saying, and how that's actually uh, real close to your historical references of these more and more wars that the Aqua is going to mention that she's kind of new to, you know, digging on, you know what I'm saying? But A out to the Aqua Tasha, she for putting her up on some real spill, you know what I'm saying? But this is what we're talking about, the nobility, the flow, you know, more and more war means that, you know, she has her own definition, but basically more than just means great, like Mongo means great, you know what I mean? So these are the nobles, these are the greats, you know, but you have the greats of Moab, you have the greats of Israel. Moab got their own kings, man, right? They got their own sultan flow. But when you dig on the Presta flow, the Presta John, the Kanda we flow, you know, hey, there's only one Presta. There's only one Rex Negus, <laughs> emperor of the Abyssinians, you know what I'm saying? You know, King David is the king of the world, man. To say the emperor of the three Indians, you know, you're talking about the king of the world. I keep having to bring this up because I want to keep it relative as she's going to bring in a more and more war. And, you know, as she says, you know, it, it ain't you know about making white people look like that. Look, man. I, this is a very important point. <laughs> I don't want to excuse nobody for their wickedness. I don't want to let these so-called whites off the hook at all. But we just have to know what a white is. You know what I'm saying? White has nothing to do with complexion. White has everything to do with the energy, frequency, and vibration. Many whites are blacks. But you have to know that blacks are whites. Black is white. You know, we talked about this, Drop Nation. You've been surfing away. We in Nagaville now, man. Hey, pop off, Aqua, man. I'm just enjoying the flow, you know, nine above the barrier. A Lego. Now, the next few talking points are going to make some of you all very uncomfortable. Uh oh. But it needs to be said. And I would like to give credit to Tasha She and a few other indigenous researchers bang, bang. for helping me figure out this bit of information that I'm about to share with you, or at least some of it. I was already aware of most of the information that I'm sharing with you, but there's something. And you'll see in a little bit that I didn't know much about. So I encourage everybody to check out her content, watch the documentaries from the other researchers in my Hidden American History playlist, question everything, and most importantly, do your own research so you can see things firsthand for yourself. And that's the problem that we run into. We have a lot of debaters out here, but they don't want to do the research. Mm -hmm. They go off of emotions or they go off of how they feel and I can respect that if you're truly in touch with the universe and truly in touch with your ancestors you have a clear mind and a pure heart but for 99% of the people out here trolling and debating and being very angry and nasty that's not the case so prior to the 1600s most of Europe was melanated and it's well documented that American Indians did travel to Europe, as well as Africa and other places. But it's very important to know that there were melanated people already there in Europe prior to our arrival. From a very young age, we're taught that all the colonizers were white. And do you know what? That's not the case. There were melanated people along with some so-called whites who colonized these American lands. And the descendants of these people, the colonizers, are among us today. Mm. And they have the same agenda as their ancestors. But this time is low key and you won't see it coming if you're not looking. So, I mean, <laughs> hey, 
you speaking to the right ones right now, Aqua, because this is, you know, a big topic in our, you know what I'm saying, uh, our flow, because we can't get around it. <laughs> we just can't get around the more and more war. And, uh, you know, we always come with ultimate respect for, you know, our brothers and sisters and all type of different flows, you know what I'm saying? If you are in the, you know, Moorish flow, science flow, it, it's, it ain't nobody's, you know what I'm saying? It ain't like everybody got these answers and that answer. You know, ain't, no one's trying to come like they just know everything, you know what I mean? But we damn sure got to come to an understanding, like the sister saying. And, uh, you know, we got to speak for our tribe. You know, for, for too long, no one's really spoke uh, for the, uh, you know, tribes of the Preston. You know, I won't even just say the Israelite community because, you know, they just haven't had the Preston in mind. They haven't had Dawi, you know, in the flow of Hosea 3. They haven't really connected, you know what I'm saying, the the fullness, you know, of of the order. We're just talking the order, you know. So we got to give it up, you know what I mean, to all my Nagas that's just trying and, you know, we're in different things. I got a lot of real Nagas that are still Christians, a lot of real Nagas that are Muslims, right? Real Nagas that are this or that. Nagas that are uh, Masons, Nagas that are in these, the Nagas that are doing all these things. Nagas that's in the military, Nagas that's in fraternities, sorority. You know what I mean? You can't just, you know, drop a nuke on all real Nagas that happen to, you know, either, you know, just be on their own path because you can't even say misguided because I went through my own path. You know, that so-called misguiding actually, you know, equipped me, you know, better for, you know, a path that I had to take with my creator that I didn't see before. You know what I'm saying? So my Nagas might be in the military, but they can utilize that experience for the creator. Like, you know, you can't just bash somebody because they're in a particular point. You can't just take a snapshot and say, that's who you are. No, that's just a part of their path as an energetic you know, vibrational being flowing through a journey that that's a part of their path. You know what I'm saying? They may not know all the stuff, you know, you know, you got to, you know, uh, continue to do your part, you know, KTC your way, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, pray that that got an influence on the nugget, you know, that you, you know, are really, you know, praying about influencing, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, look, we don't let these whites off the hook is all I'm saying, you know, but we do acknowledge the truth of the matter that all skin folk <laughs> ain't calm folk. These black people you see around you and different things ain't from the same tribe. I'm not just talking about indigenous tribes. I'm talking about tribe tribe. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Cause she could list a bunch of indigenous tribes and they might all fall under the house of Jacob. They might all fall under, you know what I'm saying? The house of, you know, or, or just the Hebrew Eber house, you know, the house of Eber, you know what I mean? We're just talking Kyber, <laughs> Hevera, Kivera. But, uh, you know, for real, for real, they also might fall under Moab and all these other tribes that we've been vibrationally beefing with, you know what I'm saying, based on the order that, that our creator has laid out for us, you know what I mean? Not putting no idols, mainly idolatry. That's why we keep it true. We say creator. We're not talking universe and spirits and ancestor flow, even though they have to our ancestors, but not all our ancestors, you know what I'm saying? We're covering in that KTC. So you can't even just do a general ancestral thing. That's kind of what got us here, right? So, you know, we only give it up and connect to our breath of security. Hawa, you know what I mean? And we know that all kin folk ain't kind folk. But we definitely don't let none of these whites or blacks <laughs> off the damn chain. Because everyone got to be accountable for their own interference pattern. Looking and to bring further confusion about who the melanated person is, before the Germanic Europeans invaded Central Europe, it was populated with melanated people, both from Africa and the Americas. The Germanic Europeans collectively called these people Moors, which meant dark skin person. It's important to note that during this period, the Germanic Europeans were pale skinned so-called white people and not melanated. So according to that definition, a dark skinned person included Africans, Americans, and 
Europeans. But to use the adjective in the proper context, the Germanic Europeans were referring to the melanated people of the Moroccan Empire, the North Africans who conquered Central Europe in the late 1400s. Thank you, Tasha Shi, for breaking that down because I didn't know what a Moor was or I didn't know the history behind the Moors. And like I said, she wasn't the only one to. And they have. So now that we bring that in, now you got to talk tribe because Moor is still general. Like she said, dark. I mean, dark skin will. You know, um, in, in greater context, it just meant great, you know what I mean? Or someone will call, you know, connect it to Maureen in the water. Or then they'll bring it back to, you know, Mauritania, or they might bring it to Mu, you know what I mean? Or, you know, of course, Morocco, <laughs> uh, Lemuria, Lemuria, you know, Mar Mars, Mars from Mars. Go get them drops, man. Go get them drops, man. Mars from Mars, man. Yeah, man, we're talking about more lands beyond the poles, but... You know, that's for another day. When you talk Moors, now you got to go tribal. That's the next step. So she didn't know much about what's going on there. She got put up on some drop by Tasha. She a hop to the aqua. Now you got to bring in tribal. Now you got to say, what tribe are you Moors, right? Then they'll break it down clearly in their own documentation. You know what I'm saying? Noble, Noble Jew Ali, he'll break it down real clearly, talking to Canaanite, talk to the Moabite, Ammonite. You know, he'll break it down clearly. You now connect it back to Psalms 83, Confederacy, that Israel would no longer be a nation. So that, you know, my aqua here can connect it to all these things, but Israel will be some religious thought pattern. Whereas she's talking Moors, which means she's talking Moab, which means she got to be talking Israel because Moab and Israel been had beef. So this more and more war is a clear cut you know what I'm saying? Documented situation going down, you know, all throughout, you know what I'm saying? The uh, so-called Old Testament or, you know, all the flow, you know, all the kings, you know what I'm saying? All the Samuels, man, it, it just keeps going down. So, you know, this is a clear cut connection, you know, that we've been vibrating with, you know what I'm saying? But that's the next step. And this is how we take it from being, um, you know, something two dimensional, you know what I mean? To something that, you know, it's clear, clear cut. You know, this is when we start to see clearly because you can't talk Moors without talking Moab. And you can't talk Moab without talking all this situation with Joshua and them, with Ephraim against the Moabites. Uh, you know what I'm saying? With the tribes of Judah against the Moabites and all the Confederacy. King David, who is he scrapping with? Who, whose gang is Khan repping with? Man, I, I, you know what I'm saying? Now you got to break it down to chronology, 1200s, 1300s. Now they just found you in the 1400s, and Genghis Khan was just over here repping who? Rolling up on who? King David in there? It ain't just about the universe. It's about your tribe. It ain't just about the Shawnee and the Creek and the Choctaw. It's about your tribe. No one's repping Judah no more. Hawahuda. No one's repping Manasseh. That's religious. The nation of Israel has been remembered no more. But we're just talking more. <laughs> Let's go. To help me figure this out, but she definitely took the time personally to break it down. You know, because she's my cousin at all. <laughs> so let's talk about these North African Moors. These are the same people that fought against us, the American Indians. Mm. They fought against the country. Oh, hold on, hold on, slow down. I mean, I'm getting this. It's getting good. All right. Oh, we got some uh, hijack coming in five seconds, man. But check it, man. Fought against us. Right? So who's us? I mean, look, we got to be specific. Because we're not just talking about American Indians. Not when we know that we were fighting against us. The Kumse was trying to rally the tribes. The Kumse was trying to rally the tribes. 1812. Not all of us fought with the Kumse against them. So us. It depends on which us. Because if it wasn't us, they wouldn't be here. <laughs> 
It couldn't have been an us. Because most of us was making treaties. And then you got the Chickamauga. And then you got the Chickamauga. The Chickamauga. No deals with the invaders. But they were fighting against us. Yeah. Treaties of peace of friendship, right? That's not something that she brings up here at least, but research the treaties of peace of friendship. It was that 1786, 1787? Going on into the Tecumseh War, through the Dragon Canoe War, Shikamagua War. First 20 years since 1776, declaration, right, of their independence from black swarthy royalty over there. These whites wanted independence in 1776. Now they popping off Pioneer Day <laughs> in Utah. They popping off Pioneer Day. Who? What pioneer? What did you discover, man? But yeah, it's not just about the whites, so-called. It's about the other melanated tribes that were uh, fighting against us, against the Kumse. That's when you get specific. Now you can rap the Kumse and connect that with the Ibaru with how he is a Hebrew. How his shooting star, this dra this dragon flow, is popping off, connecting with the Moshe flow. You know, his rod ain't turning into no snake. <laughs> his rod is turning into a dragon. Tukumse means dragon. His brother, the prophet, last standing prophet's tap. Man. They fought against us. She's painting a great, you know, picture. This Agua is doing a great job, though, painting a great picture. Then you know what it is. It's the same agenda today, but you can't believe it. Because your heart's so big, your heart's so full. You can't believe people that look like you will fight against you to take your things, to take your stuff. But maybe you ain't reading the script. Because <laughs> all them more and more wars is happening right there. They got the boundary of what Arnon, Anion, Arnon, Anion, Arnon, the boundary, the Jordan separating these Amman land territories, Moabite territories, all separated right here. Longitude and latitude, treaties of pieces and friendship. So, yeah, they, they fought against us. First, we got to figure out who's us, <laughs> right? Because not all of us were fighting with us. Because they was making treaties. And then there's the Shikamawa. Hijacking five seconds. Confederacy as they fought with the Union. Uh oh, uh oh. I'm going to back that up. I'm going to back that up, man. You know, let them put their hijack. Oh, come on. See, yeah, come on, man. We, we, we don't need all that. We don't need all that, all that distraction that they're trying to put. I'm going to back it up, Aqua. I want to hear you out clearly. Because she popping off. You're doing a great job. Great job. Let's go. These are the same people that fought against us, the American Indians. They fought against the Confederacy as they fought with the Union. Now, if you dig a little deeper hmm. about the Civil War, you know, it was a it was, I believe, the bloodiest war of all times on these lands. It was in a horrific it was a horrific time for the American Indians, for my people, because we were the ones fighting for the Confederacy. Yes, there were some in the Union, but if you do your research, you'll find that they were prisoners of war, forced Ooh. to fight on the Union side, forced to build them ships and everything. Uh, Once so even if they was on the Union, you can't just, you know, take a book by its cover. You got to understand the story. You know, a prisoner of war situation reminds me of Let Us Find the Truth. Shout out to the bro. Aqua said, do your own recon. And, you know, we've been digging on this, you know, America has been at war 93%. 93% of the time. Now she said the Civil War. Let's let's see. I want to pick it up right there at that Civil War. Come on, man. They try to slow down our net because we popping off. I don't want us to pop off, man. It's too much. It's too good. It's getting too good. Here we go. Here we go. 
All right, so we got the Civil War, you know, which only connects back with the, you know, Tecumseh, Tecumseh situation. Because whatever's happening in the Civil War must be connected to whatever's going on, you know what I'm saying, right around that same pocket. We got to keep it on the context, man. Uh, man. What they doing, what they doing. Let's go, let's go. They throw an advertisement. Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> hey. Hey, the hijack is real, man. What did Templar say, man? Hijack ain't never late. Because <laughs> the indigenous truth is always right on top, and that's all we digging on, man. I mean, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous, man. She said, do your own recon. That's exactly what we're doing. Man, they over here tripping. So I can see that. All right, let me try this way. Let me try it like this, man. Sometimes you just got to, you know, bob and weave, man. Get, get right around the hijack. Ah, uh, so they must have did something with that link, huh? Is that what happened, man? They tried to do something with that link, but it's all right. We found a new link. We good, we good, we good, we good, we good. Ah, but this ain't the same. They took down a lot of the stuff here, honestly. That's why, look, my man, look. That's what we said to keep printing this stuff out. When you get your ether packs, my nuggets, you know, print them out before the links disappear. Did you see it happen in real time? Yeah, it's one of our favorite links, too. When we come to all the time, we talk about this hijack. Yeah, yeah, something happened to the link. Oh, man. Real talk, my you know what I'm saying? <laughs> real spill, you know what I mean? This is why, for real, for real, print, you, print this stuff out, make copies, Distribute it, because just like that, one of your favorite links, they're going to make it hard for you, man. That's a, man I, I just can't believe this, you know. I, mean, I could believe it, but, man, we've we we <laughs> we've been rocking with this link for a minute, so. Excuse me while I try to see what's going on. Sometimes you can find another Backup of these, but nah, man, not these guys, man. Let's check out this right quick. Yeah, I was trying to see if they had a. Uh, Copy and paste it there, Troy. Man, we're going to find another one. <laughs> we always find another copy of these joints. They, they can't uh, hide them forever, man. But make sure you print them out, man. Cause it, I like this joint because it had all the dates, man. It had the Dakota War there. Everything right in your face, Paul. I believe I made a copy of it. But I'm just saying. It's a nice one. It's already linked out for you. America has been at war. Y'all seeing, look, this is what we do in real time. You know, we we the freedom fighters of the web, man. We always uh, search and find, you know, just the, whatever link we need, man, to connect to what we got to connect to, even when they take them down. Uh, 
Oh, they had a YouTube link on it. That's interesting, man. That's interesting. Okay. Okay, okay. You gonna give me some dates or you just gonna give me you gonna give me the title. Man. See what I'm saying? Like why even have this? Why even have this? Why? Cause they just messing with us, man. They just messing with us, man. <laughs> they like drive, man. It's okay, nah, man. It's not okay, man. I don't like being messed with by these people, man. <laughs> oh man, another thread. Yeah, I mean that was a simple link, but it just had so much drop on it. Yeah, see so they just playing with us now. See what this YouTube is hitting for. We over here doing recon in real time, man. You know what I mean? This is not a real. That's how important these dates are. Especially, you know, me when it's right in your face, ball. I don't know what this is, man. Hey. Yeah, it don't look like they had that link on here either, man. Unbelievable, unbelievable. How dare they, man? Hold up, hold up. Ayo, ayo. <laughs> hey, uh, I guess the link is back up. I guess we hold Hey, my noggin, I'm going to put this below, print it out. Can you see they just played with us real time? I didn't give up, though. I didn't give up. I didn't give up. Now, what was the sister talking about? Because, you know, we went over here wave surfing. My sister was just talking about the Civil War. Okay, okay. I'm going to back it up, Aqua. But you see what we got to do in real time? This is why, you know, you know the Nagas respect what we do around here. Because you know, there's certain things, you know what I mean, that we actually uh, really have to hunt down, man. And this one right here got a lot of drop in it, man. And, I mean, a lot of drop. Hold on, man. Let's see. Print. <laughs> what am I not gonna uh, think of the Dragon Child? It was like, hey, man, we gotta make our own PDFs, man. And, you know, I gotta start doing this myself, so I'm gonna do it in real time with you. All right, uh, print. What was it? Something about save the PDF. I just got slow net right now, so I'm going to have to do it when I got fast net. I'm still in Nagaville, my Nagas. You know, I'm still in Nagaville. Oh, here we go. Save as PDF. Okay. Okay. I want all that. Yeah, I want all that. That's PDF. Save. Okay. Yeah, that's perfect. Let's go. Let's go. I think I just made my own PDF. You know what I'm saying? I think I just I think I just made my own PDF, man. So okay, okay, it's all happening, man. <laughs> hey, how Dragon Chad. My bro also hit us with that Nagaville flag. I'ma get at you, bro. I'm just in Nagaville. You know, it's a lot happening, man, but I got you. And we're gonna, you know what I'm saying, get it popping. We got some Nagas on the move right now, man. Alright, so my sister's talking about 1861, 1862. 1863, right? We're talking about American Civil War. But, you know, our point is that you can't talk American Civil War without talking about what happened. You know, what is this a result of? You got to go back. Why is all this happening? Why is these Seminole Wars happening? These Cherokee Wars happening? All right? You, when you go back, you're going to run right into the War of 1812, the Kumsay's War, which is also connects with these Seminole 
You know what I mean? Because the Seminole was fighting with the Kumse. The Creek was fighting with the Kumse. That's why you got the Creek War here. The Creek War is the Tecumse War, is the Seminole War. But after these treaties of peace and friendship, right, by the more or Moabite or Confederate tribes against Israel, right, against the Ibaru, that's when, you know what I'm saying, certain other tribes, certain tribal leaders at that point, under the Choctaw flow, under the different flow, they didn't side with the Tecumse. They sided with the treaties of peace and friendship. They tried to they sided with the more side, right? So but hey, by the time you get to the Union and Confederate, you know, or you know, whatever, you know what I'm saying? It's like that's all a byproduct of what's already happening between Moab and Israel. But if you don't factor in Moab and Israel, then you don't understand what the Kumse represents. And you don't understand who he was trying to you know, bring together and who he had to end up fighting against. Because as we have talked about, and, you know, everyone's coming to clarity with this, right after Tecumseh's death, now you had, you know, the Choctaw and the leader going straight up against the Seminole, right? So the Seminole were fighting against the Choctaw right here, against these other tribes that were, you know, rocking with this treaty of peace of friendship. It wasn't just that the melanated, you know, folks of Europe came over here. They already had people here. They had people here in place. They already had people popping under their flag, man. So all this is a direct result of this. This Cherokee Indian Seminole War is the same Seminole War that's going down here in 1812 with the Kumse War. And this Tecumse War is a direct result of the Barbary War because the barber just just is the Berber. The Berber is the barber. The barber is the swan. But you got to understand understand the swan knights to understand the barber because barber means swan in Hebrew. Hebrew word of the day. Barber, swan. Who's the swan knights? Yeah, now you're talking about Sylvanus told Texas, King Solomon, King David, back to the Prester John. You understand? You understand? 1776 was all about the Chicamagua, those who made no treaties with the devil. And the same Chicamagua flow happened all the way down here. So you have dang near 20 years just against these Chicamagua who made no treaties. This is dragging canoe in them. Tecumse is fighting in these wars already. Tecumse been fighting in all these wars and now this became his own, you know what I'm saying, charge, the final stand, man. But these treaties of peace and friendship made these other tribes roll up against the Seminole and against the Creek, against the Chicamagua Cherokee, and all the tribes that were on the side of Tecumse. And all this here is the same thing, the same thing. These are still Tecumse's people. These are still the Shikamagwa. So you can't just jump into the Civil War, you know what I'm saying? Union versus Confederacy. Without understanding that the Confederacy and these British, you know what I'm saying, were, you know, this is all family, you know what I'm saying? These Brits, you know, so called, you know what I'm saying, are connected to these other melanated Nagas already over there that are also. Ibarus that are connected with family of the Kumse and all them, whether you're talking the melanated Nagas, not all the melanated Nagas in Europe were Moabites. You had a lot of Jacob over there. You had a lot of, you know, Judah over there as well. And these were tribes that are holding down different vortexes, different, different Indias, right? Preston John, emperor of the three Indias. So you had to hold down the world. You have to be stationed in the Byzantine. You know what I'm saying? You got to be in Mazaka, Mosak, Cappadocia. You got to be in Moscow, Mos Moshe, <laughs> Moscow, Russia, Rus. You got to connect the Rus to understand the Kumse's war that leads into all these other wars. It's all the same flow. These same Seminole wars, the same Shikamaka. This is how long you've been fighting. So when were you a slave? 
when did slavery take place, man? Because it seems like these Nagas been fighting the whole time, but you just didn't know this was you, your history, your story. Before you get to the American Civil War. He's talking about the more and more that started way back with the Treaties of Peace and Friendship in 1786 on the Chickamauga's head bone, on Dragon Canoe's head bone, on Tecumseh's head bone, they made treaties. Before you get to the Civil War, the Union, man, all these are titles, man. Ends up being damn near Moab versus Israel, whether you're talking Union, Confederacy, whether you're talking whatever, it's starting to look this way. You know what I mean? When you deal with that that towel on the Confederate flag, we already proved that it goes all the way back to the towel of the Hebrew, which is the mark, the sign, the covenant. We're just talking to Kumse, the dragon. Man. But I want to get that piece back about the Civil War now that we have some context digging on the more and more. The Lego. The Confederacy. Yes, there were some in the Union, but if you do your research, you'll find that they were prisoners of war. Forced. Down. You know, because she's my cousin at all. <laughs> so let's talk about these North African Moors. These are the same people that fought against us, the American Indians. They fought against the Confederacy as they fought with the Union. Now, if you dig a little deeper about the Civil War, you know, it was a, it was, I believe, the bloodiest war of all times on these lands it was in a horrific it was a horrific time for the american indians for my people because we were the ones fighting for the confederacy yes there were some in the union but if you do your research you'll find that they were prisoners of war forced to fight on the union side forced to build them ships and everything once you dig and do your own research you will see that everything we were taught in school is a big lie Bang. What did an elder say? The ones who win the war, they get to decide the narrative. They get to decide on what's being told to the people. And that's exactly what they did. So now you know, there are people who might look like us, the black person, the African-American, the American Indian, but some of those people are not us. They are the descendants of the colonizers, remembering that the colonizers were melanated and non-melanated people, and they were never on our side. So who's bad and who's good? One day during ancestral learning time, my five-year-old, Zari, she asked me a question. She said, well, mommy, how do I know who's good and who's bad? And I told her that people's actions will reveal who they truly are. I told her never judge by appearance, always watch and listen to what people say and what they do. And then you will see if they are for us or against us. And that doesn't matter what color their skin is. The lost American. Some of our people, the American Indian, are lost, a lost people from paper genocide, reclassifications, conversions, being forced to stop speaking our language and never practice our culture, it left us being lost. We've become that lost person who tends to fall victim to whatever they tell us. And because they've taken our culture away, they've taken our identities away with the stroke of a pen, we don't know who we are. We lack the ancestral connection to be guided leaving most of us to believe the U.S. history taught in school. And then we believe the pictures we see, the literal whitewashing of American Indian chiefs and other important Indian figures. Just look at Pocahontas, for example. Tasha did an entire video on the real story of Pocahontas. I was just completely, like my mind was blown. I'm telling you this because when or if 
a so-called brother or sister walks up to you saying, hey, you know you're indigenous to this land, right? You know this is your <laughs> land. Let's take it back. I would love to have you on my or in my nation or join my this and that. Just sign here. It might sound like a good idea to some people because you know you're tired of the oppression. You're tired of being targeted as a black person because remember. Man, this is a real important point. You know what I mean? This is not against any other, you know, any of these camps and groups of this and that and uh, sciences of this and science. I mean, it all sounds good, but if it ain't KTC, that's how we look at it with a dragonfly perspective. If you're not, if it's not uniting you in a code, not just in a universal code, you know what I mean? In the creator's code. The creator's code, not killing. Not killing your brothers, not killing your sisters, not stealing from your brothers, not stealing from your sisters, not coveting their things, their stuff, not bearing false witness, my naga, like adultery, like, you know, that's just basic vibrational community standards and definitely not no power before our power. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to unite in code. All these other things don't mean nothing if it's not united in the code of not just your ancestors, but the creator, because this is what got you here. You can't put your ancestors above the creator. You can't put the universe above the creator. You know what I'm saying? Framer, shaper, ama, abba. As a code. So you join up all these other things, but you got to check their code, though. You know what I'm saying? I'm just talking Exodus 20. I ain't talking no beards and fringes and all the other things you got after captivity. All the other things you got after, you know, the Exodus, the previous uh, out of bondage, out of Egypt, you got all those fringes and don't cut your beards so you don't look like these Egyptians and all this. Like, it was real specific, you know, to the time to the actual context of the situation coming out of bondage in so-called black Egypt. Right now, Managi, this is a whole nother situation. You didn't get here because of your beard or your fringes. You got here because you put another power, you called another mama, mama, another daddy, daddy. <laughs> you ain't calling on your breath. <laughs> you call on something else. You ain't calling on your, on your security. You call on something else. When we get that right, you can worry about beards and fringes and, and your feast days and all these other nice, cute things. But none of that matters to the creator if you have another power before your power. None of that matters if you ain't resting and, and charging up and getting that zon together in solidarity and flowing with the creator as you're supposed to, taking a day off from work <laughs> just to remember a why. We're starting there. You can judge us about all these other things we don't do and don't have and all this other stuff you think it, man, but we're starting someplace. This is a starting point. You get access 20 in order, Monaga, you popping off. But imagine us trying to implement all these other rules and guidelines of Israelites and all this other stuff, you know what I'm saying, without having a clear cut, simple, simplified code. Simple code. Exodus 20 got us in code. Go check it out, man. Do your recon. <laughs> Let's go. Remember, you don't know who you are. Let so go. you claim what they tell you uh -oh, you are. Uh -oh. Negro, colored, mulatto, African American, black. Bang, bang, bang. Side note. The word black is that of a crayon color uh -oh. and not a description of a group of people. In fact, black means it did in the eyes of the law. And this And black means white. <laughs> in the dictionary let's go this is why lives don't matter mm. that's another video for another day so going back to this so-called brother and sister who approach who approaches you with this exciting news you know it might be enticing but you must do your homework your research first and i'm not here to judge if you have already signed with these people i'm just trying to break it down for the rest of us so <laughs> she said sign with these people yeah if anyone's asking you to sign up I ain't talking tribal form. <laughs> I'm talking about like signing up, you know what I'm saying? Like paying a fee. You're a part of our group now. Hey man, be a part of our group, man. Be a part of our sciences, man. Man, do you keep the code though? 
Or are you trying to just bring me into another power? Yeah, it's nice to see, oh, you guys are a bunch of Indians. You guys are a bunch of Israelites. You look very Israelitish. You got your beard. You got your fringes. But are you calling on another power? Are you, are you false witnessing? Are you telling the people there's something that they're not? Are you, are you telling them to go to Africa, man? To the Middle East, so-called? There's a lot to the code when you meditate on it. And like the Aqua said, you're going to know it by vibration. Remember that? It was a $200,000 book, something crazy. <laughs> You know, just to tell you exactly what we dropping, let you know that you know your tribe by vibration. And the cold got us in the vibration. That's the shaper, because the vibration shapes you a lot. Why? Well, y'all don't make the same mistakes, because they are constantly recruiting members. And I uh oh, they recruit. Hold up, man. We got some hijack to get all set. I knew a hijack was in the building over here, creeping and crawling. Hey, what's going on in your classroom, buddy? Hey, man, none of your business, man. We KTC. Clear that it's okay if your organization is not a true nation, but you must have full disclosure with your members and potential members. They must know the purpose of the purpose of this organization. What's the purpose of Drop Nation? To keep the code. What's the purpose? Of the 12 tribes of Israel <laughs> to keep the code. What's the purpose of every Naga, <laughs> every so called, you know, Negro, or really anyone who really wants to survive and have salvation, right? Because Hawaii's not coming back looking for the Shawnee or the Choctaw or the Chickasaw. Or the creek or the Seminole. A while's coming back looking for the KTC, looking for who's listening, who's vibing up. If it's, you know, a member of the home team, hey, that's a, that's a, you know, Baruch to Hawa. But if it's, you know, someone outside of our tribe that is choosing up with the creator, you know, please believe the creator, you know what I'm saying? Um, has a special place, man, you know, for anyone who is is flowing that really didn't have to, you know what I'm saying? They they weren't given this this code, you know. <laughs> they didn't know the creative face to face like you did, but yet they still chose up and you didn't. And that don't mean that, you know, that other nation can boast themselves above the natural uh roots, right, of the tree. <laughs> you know, don't get excited when we talk more and more war. And, you know, uh, that, that people look like us, you know, saying that got off those ships, you know, don't, don't get excited, you know, that we're talking about Moab and Israel. If you're another nation, don't get excited. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, yeah, all black people that yeah, don't, don't, don't take that path, man. You know, <laughs> that's the easy way. That's the easy way to destruction. You know, don't celebrate the more and more war. If you're not from our nation, you know what I'm saying? You know, this ain't something for you to gloat about or boast about. This is a very hurtful topic to the families involved. So you can't be outside of us just popping off on our story, per se, you know, because you're not going to feel this shit. Eventually, you're just not going to feel it. You know, I got a high for all my noggins, man, no matter what tribe you're from. As long as you're choosing up and you, you know, are sparking off, man, you know, it's not about what your people did. You, you're a Moabite, but you ain't down for none of that foolishness, false idleness, man. You want to rock with the creator? I'm rocking with you, Moabite. You know, you you an Edomite that loves the creator, that ain't about none of this covetousness, ain't about none of this, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know, thievery of nothing, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're all KTC. We're all keeping the code. We're all putting Hawaii first. And hey, guess what, Edomite? I'm rocking with you. Hey, hey, you a, a tribe of Judas, you know what I'm saying? You, you a, uh, you know, 
How are you done? You know what I'm saying? Hey, you you a tribe of Judah, that's KTC, then I'm rocking with you. But you got to keep the code. No power before power. Exodus 20, got us in code. That's where the problem is. Let's go. It's not that you want to have this organization to educate indigenous aboriginals or to even gather a bunch of indigenous aboriginals to, for whatever reason, you must be honest and you must fully disclose your intent. So let me recap just to make sure I didn't lose anybody. So-called African American, <laughs> the American Indian, okay? Just because a person has our shade of brown skin and maybe some of our distinctive features like kinky curly hair or a wide nose, it does not mean that we are the same people because we aren't. All right, so now that we understand that all skin folks ain't kin folks, kind of folk. you should also know about before colonization. American Indians had different tribes, thousands if not more. And among these people, they had their own cultures, customs, traditions, and languages. So even back then, you might look like the next tribe, but you knew who you were. Mm. There was no confusion. Now, to take things a bit further, we have what you call agents. Uh -oh. Learning in our communities. Uh -oh. Now, these people can be descendants of the North African Moors living in America. Ooh. It could be present day Moors. She just throwing up a cut some body blows and look, man, I'm just going to let the aqua pop off because this is true. You know what I'm saying? You can't be down with the treaties of peace and friendship and then not understand that you could be a descendant or are a descendant of what is a colonizer, you know what I'm saying? You could see the world as ham and kush, ham and kush, everything for a maxim in Atlantis. And you know, that's just not the creator's vision. You know, that's not a dragonfly perspective. So yeah, you know, we have our communities infiltrated from the longest, from the civil rights, all that stuff, all the way up, infiltrated by Nagas that look just like us. We're looking at it like, oh, the black community is being infiltrated by black people. Now, nah, I mean, yeah, <laughs> but it's really, uh, you know, specific descendants of specific tribes out for the same specific causes to hijack you, take your stuff. But first, they got to take your mind ball. They got to take your soul, man, make you make deals like the music industry, even the stuff that is, you know, black control. What black, what tribe of black, and what deals do they have these Hebrews making? Moors. They can even be from just straight up the continent of Africa, like we've recently seen in Georgia, where two African men were caught <coughs> by the neighborhood trying to steal young children in a white van. Wow. Now, even though this might be the first time it hit the news or social media, this is happening all the time not just in Georgia, but they seem to be happening in melanated communities. Mm. Now, these agents can also be descendants of American Indians and North African Moors, but whoever they are and wherever they descend from, it is very clear that they were hired to create big distractions within a melanated community mm. as they continue the colonization agenda. Now, look at like, you know, some of them, you know, they you know seem to get out ahead of us, you know, even before 2016. And, you know, what I'm saying like we don't you know, we, we all came up watching a lot of this stuff on on the tube and different things. You know, what I mean, you you know what type of platforms we're talking about and all this out of Africa stuff and this and all these debates, debates, debates for what, for what, for what? You come over here, you get the drop. You don't you don't want to get the drop. Then you, you ain't got to be over here trying to get the drop. I ain't got to debate you. I ain't got to try to prove I'm right about nothing. And there ain't not one person I want to prove I'm right to. Only Hawa. You know what I'm saying? So debate for what? You don't see me on a bunch of panels doing a bunch of things. I got six children. I got things, man. We got MHOE to pop off. We got men's sauce to pop off. We got Joy World popping off. We ain't got time to be debating you. But these agents, though, they be looking just like you. Take the land. Move out the people. Create situations where they can self-destruct. Just look around you. And you can instantly spot the movements or their movements. Uh -oh. Most recent example of a agent hired individual 
acting, because that's what they are, is the rise of more movement in their sovereign citizenship. They are so-called Moors, agents, who knows, but they caused a big police standoff that occurred, I believe, like two weeks ago, where they shut down 95. It ended peacefully. 11 subjects claiming to be Moors were arrested. But it makes you wonder, or at least it made me wonder, how in the world did these heavily, heavily armed melanated men make it out of that scene make it out of that situation <laughs> alive not a scratch not a bruise not a piece of hair on their head was misplaced definitely <laughs> seems like it was staged uh -oh. definitely seems like they have some type of coverage um but anyway according to <laughs> hey man we in Nagaville, man a lot of things going on. It's <laughs> a lot of stuff happening in Nagaville. Yeah. Right in our face bone, too. Keep the cold, my nigga. Let the vibration, you know, make things a little clearer for you so you know where to be. You ain't got to be, uh, you know, with no one that you're not comfortable with, you know what I mean? But when you try above, make sure that vibration's right. And like the aqua said, make sure the intentions right. Make sure that code is clear. We say Exodus 20 got us in code, so you know when you're rocking with Drive Nation, it's Exodus 20 that we're referring to when we talk about our code. You might bring in all these other things about the code and the code and all these other ways. We are beginning our building process around Exodus 20. I need you to get that through your mind, Bo. <laughs> So that we can surf the way and be silent and be steady water. Isaiah chapter 11. Let's go. For the dismount. A staff will grow from the stump of Jesse and a shoot will sprout from his roots. The spirit of Hawa will rest upon him. A spirit of wisdom and understanding. We're talking mama. Let's go. A spirit of counsel and strength. A spirit of knowledge and respect of Hawa. He will be imbued with a spirit of respect for Hawa. It will not need to judge by what his eyes see nor decide by what his ears hear. He will judge the destitute with righteousness and rebuke with fairness the humble of the earth. He will strike the wicked off the earth with the rod of his mouth, with the breath of his lips. He will slay the wicked. Hawa. Righteousness will be the girdle around his loins and faith will be the girdle around his waist. The wolf will live with the sheep and the leopard will lie down with the kid and the calf, a lion, whelp, and a fatling will walk together and a young child will lead them. A cow and bear will graze and their young will lie down together and a lion like cattle will eat hay. A suckling will play by the viper's hole and a newly winged child will stretch his hand towards an adder's ear, an adder's lair. They will neither injure nor destroy in all my sacred mountain. For the earth will be as filled with knowledge of Hawa as water covering the seabed. It shall be on that day that the descendant of Yeshai, Jesse, who stands as a banner for his people, Nations will seek him, and his resting place will be glorious. Manavi. Hosea 3, search for Hawa and King Dawi, <laughs> so you can KTC, make <laughs> Joey, and stay dripping in that man sauce man and love to the aqua you know what i'm saying 
We're putting it down for the Nagas. Make sure you're digging on that Rai Ming top. <laughs> and we're here, man. We're still in Nagaville. Still surfing the wave. Still steady water. We stay up. We suit up. We choose up. Drop nation.